October's 1922 homecoming brought the Rarix to a crossroads. The exhibition had six months left to run, but he knew already that it would not be a moneymaker, nor were plans with the Chicago Opera going as hoped. At this point, they needed revenue from somewhere. George and Sviatoslav transferred from Columbia to Harvard that fall, with Sviatoslav taking extra courses at MIT. Nicholas and Helena fell behind in their rent, and $3,000 of miscellaneous obligations hung over them. The two had already put up as collateral a set of old masters, Nicholas's diamond cufflinks, his pocket watch, and Helena's jewelry. They now turned to the Fifth Avenue Bank for another $8,300, offering more paintings to guarantee the second loan. The situation worsened in November, with the Hotel des Artistes complaining about the $552 owed it, and the firm that had printed posters for Rarex 1920 show dunning him as well. They managed one improvement before year's end, locating a more affordable living space, in a West 82nd Street pension near West End Avenue. But the new rooms would not be ready until mid-January, and the Hotel des Artistes was not about to forgive the family one penny of its debt.